Hi guys, today we are going to discuss ORE instruments. How are we going to get started to prepare for part two preparation? All right, so I'm going to give you the list of instruments in the description box. But how are there a few things that I would like to discuss here? So let me talk about that. So to get started with the ORE instruments, most of all, first and foremost, you need to have your mannequin head and your compressor, your dental unit and your handpiece. All right. Then next important set of things are your typhodons. So when you go to think about, uh, when you talk about typhodons, um, the uh, the typhos that are used for the examination, they call as the Fresaco teeth. So these teeth can either be bought from MR Dental, which is a UK based company, or you can also get it off Shiraz. Um, this, he's from India. So for people who are preparing from India, they can buy from Shiraz or MR Dental. And uh, from the UK, always there's a choice of um, the authentic ones, which are from MR Dental. Shiraz, I'm not really sure whether they're authentic, but um, definitely for the practice session and everything, you can always use them. All right. Um, those are about the teeth. Um, so the, most of the times, the teeth that you need are many 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 central incisors many molars um, lateral incisors canines premolars these are all the upper arch that you need uh, for the low arch most of the exercises are very few in number so you just need a few molars um, to prepare your rest seats and for the temporary crowns and amalgam restorations so these are like very few teeth that you need in, uh, that you need um, mostly the molars and the premolars all right so that's about the teeth. Um, then for the hand instruments, um, you need uh, your regular, your mouth mirror probe, periodontal probe, straight probe, tweezers, GMT enamel hatchets, and you know, your plastic carrying instruments, amalgam carriers, condensers, carvers, burnishers, all these are your hand instruments for amalgams. And uh, now going on to the burrs. For the burrs, um, here in the UK, for your cavity preparations, you always use your 330 tungsten carbide burr. And there's an, uh, another burr, number 56, which is also a tungsten carb carbide burr, which is used um, mostly in cavity preps. Um, for the crown prep, you have your, um, you use your diamond burrs. So we have 170, number 170, which is blue color, which has a blue ring. You have your interproximal burr, bur, which is your 260, which has a red ring. Then you have your yellow burr, the chamfer burr, which is the number 767. And you have your rugby burr, 285, for your crown preparation. So these are the most common burrs that you need for your crown preps. Um, in addition to this, you need your flat fissure burrs, your rose head burrs, polishing burrs, etc. All right. Um, that was about your cavity prep and crown preps. Now going on to the impression materials that you need. Um, you you need your regular body and your light body and your um, lab putty and the actuator, um, including the impression tray. All right, um, that was for the impression materials. For your crown and bridge material, um, you can get them off with a dispenser uh, with a blue mixing tip. So the impression material also comes with a dispenser. You'll need to buy the dispenser, which is in the form of a gun, um, with come and comes with yellow mixing tubes. All right. Um, that's that these are the main things that you need then in addition you need your amalgam capsules your composite materials polishing strips mylar strips light cures um, that, that that was about that uh, now for your root canal treatment uh, practice you need your files your gates gliden burr your endo ring um, and your rct sealer and gutter percha sticks uh, sorry gutter percha points these are things that you need for root canal treatment practice. And then you need your matrix band retainer, uh, matrix band and retainer. So for the examination, um, they would always give you sequiland. Um, so this would be loaded prior if you're going to use sequiland matrix band. But um, if you want to use your Toffelmeyer, there's no problem. You can always use it, but the nurse won't load it for you. You'll have to do it yourself. So if you're sure about using a Toffelmeyer, go ahead with that. If not, the use your Sequiland. I'd, I'd prefer Toffelmeyer personally. And then just rest of things, your wedges, handpiece oil, safety goggles, gloves, um, mouth, mouth mask, 
the lamp and chair that's it that's all pretty much that you need um the rest of the things whatever is there i put put it up in your description box and um, yes of course you need your compressor um i think i mentioned that in the first instance but let me remind you uh, buy a good quality compressor so i bought the tornado um from mr dental also you get uh, the one from bambi but um, i'm not sure if it's very good because i've heard complaints from bambi but they're silent compressors so on a good note this um mr dental compressors are not so silent but bambi is very silent uh, but I don't know if it functions really well, the Mavic compressor. So I would go for Tornado com compressors. So that's about it, guys. Um, if you know anybody else um, who help in selling the instruments, you can always add up on your description box and help out people, help each other. And I hope you guys are studying well. Um, all the best. Do well and stay happy. Bye.